Hi there. This, uh, this Frankenstein monster is uh, Odroid Girl, uh, homemade version. Used uh, Billy's DIY Dream Shop. The instructions from there. I'll put the put the link in the description. Uh, pretty much, just follow his instructions. It's uh, no real change. I mean, I added a low pass filter there, which does absolutely nothing. Pointless. But I, I was trying to clean up the sound. It didn't uh, didn't work. <clears throat> But yeah, his instructions are pretty straightforward, but you have to stick to exactly the parts. I mean, if you try, I tried changing the screen and uh, it just didn't work. So it's, I think that's the 2.2 inch screen, whatever he's saying. Uh, the TT Go T8 with an upgraded memory chip, flash chip, which is the 128 bit megabit. Uh, I can't remember the name of it, but uh, that's... Uh, that you have to upgrade the chip on there. You can't just use the T8, TT Go T8, without upgrading the flash, because it doesn't work. And then just a few, a few resistors, eight resistors. Uh, anyway, let's have a look at it. Look at this monstrosity. It's a fresh image, so it's got to, it's got to rewrite it. Anyway. <clears throat> Glad I made it. I did want the uh, Odroid Odro Go. Uh, it was about twenty, thirty dollars, twenty-five pounds when it came out. Um, sort of something that interested me, but not quite enough to go out and buy one. So I wanted an Odroid Go, but having actually made it, uh, it's made me realise that it's uh, possibly not worth it. Uh, you know, with the limited emulation. Uh, it is a bit finicky. The sound quality is pretty poor. And I don't know if I... I mean, I was going to sort of wrap this up in a... Pop this in... You can't really see that in a... Possibly into a Retromax case. But I, I think I'll do something else with my time. So let's see if we can... Oh, great. Is this going to play ball? See what we got. Oh, seems to have saved my games. And I got a problem with right. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, let's go down here. <laughs> go on, can I get the last one? Oh, yes. Actually, so it sounds, yeah, not too bad. Maybe I've exaggerated how poor it is, really. Yeah, smart. And it's crashed. So, I mean, I just don't, I think it's one of these things that was uh, of a time. I wouldn't really want to be dealing with this. You too could make your own substandard emulator or just buy one. Thanks for watching.